Noel crosses into High Rock as she passes through her first village in the Britain Providence. There will be much to learn in the coming days for Mjol, for if she wishes to be an experienced adventurer, she will need to learn the many customs from the many cultures of Tanril. And so, Mjol sets off to begin her new adventure. Whatever dangers Mjol faced in High Rock, she was always ready to face them head on. In the days ahead, Mjol learned to appreciate the difference in cultures and in scenery as she ventured the land. Exploring the lands and keeping true to her word as she continues to help those in need always lending her help to those who wish to be noble. As Mjol valued the prayer in those who sought to do good in the land of Tamriel, such as those as the Briton Paladin warriors, But as an outsider, Mjol knew that there was only one way to prove her intentions to the Night Paladins, as she offers to lend her skill in battle. Mjol would boldly take on the most risky bounties as she begins to make her name known. Never accepting coin for her accomplishments, as her intentions always remain true. For Mjol's heart is what truly set her apart from most adventurers. Because it was never about the reward and fame. But to show others that there are noble warriors of Tenril who still believe in being virtuous to show others that there are still good people in the world today. Noble warriors who take the time to learn and respect their culture. Noble warriors who remain courteous to others as Mjol's interest in the other kingdoms of High Rock continued to grow. But after a few months of exploring High Rock, Mjol knew it was time to venture more of Tamriel. Especially knowing that there are perhaps others who lost everything as she once experienced herself. Knowing that there are still those who wish to exploit their greed and bring harm to others. And so, Mjol sets off to venture a new land of Tamriel. Mjol's adventure leads her to Hammerfell, the home of the Red Guards. Once again, Mjol steps onto the new land as an outsider. For Mjol is always willing to do what needs to be done to earn the heart and the trust of the people. Even if in a new providence of Tamriel, Mjol wastes no time as she begins to look for ways to help the local citizens of Hammerfell. And so, Mjol begins her venture into the deserts of the Arakia. As Mjol traveled the vast desert, she would experience a sense of culture shock, for she never truly imagined how different and diverse Tamriel is. In both culture and land, Wherever Mjol journeyed, the dangers of the land would all be the same. And the results would be the same. With Mjol coming out victorious,
and the more experienced Mjol gained, the more diverse she became. For Mjol finally felt herself becoming more knowledgeable in life as she knew that experiences like this were rare. And so, Mjol continued to be the shining beacon of hope to those who truly needed her help. Never drifting from her virtuous code of honor, as the people of Hammerfell came to respect the Nord warrior from Skyrim. And so, Mjol kept visiting the different villages and towns of Hammerfell, continuing her oath to help those who are in need of assistance. Traveling the lands and experiencing what this life has to offer. Because as beautiful as the land was, Mjol would never forget her roots of where she came from and what she lost in order to be where she is now. For Mjol remained humble, a warrior like no other. Because it was the simple things in life that Mjol appreciated, regardless of how manner it appeared. And so, Mjol stayed in Hammerfell and helped whenever she was able to. Because just as before, Mjol would know it was time to venture Tamriel further as the time comes to leave Hammerfell. For Mjol's next adventure would be to the heartland of Tamriel, Sirodu. As she looks upon the white gold tower from the pier, Mjol felt the sense of scope of how vast Tamriel truly is. Realizing that there is more history and lore to Tenryl that she has been led on to believe. But no matter what providence Mjol found herself in, her intentions would remain the same as she seeks those who need help the most. And as before, with each new land she explores, comes new dangers that she will be forced to face. Such as the dangers of the Iliad ruins. But as it would seem, the more danger that Mjol faced, the more opportunities she took to test herself in battle as she continued to gain experience and knowledge. And at the end of each day, the wealth of knowledge that Mjol would gain throughout her journeys is what will be the drive that kept her wanting to see and do more in Tamriel. So Mjol kept adventuring the heartland of Tamriel as she visits all the counties, taking bounties from those who would need help the most, and earning the respect from those who once considered her a stranger. But after a few months of voyage inside Cyrodiil, that feeling of adventure would again make Mjol wonder as she knew there was more to see. And more people who need help. And so, Mjol sets out for adventure again. Her journeys again lead to another providence of Tamriel. Valenwood. As she explored the wilderness of the exotic land, Mjol would come to know and respect the ancient traditions of the Bosma. Regardless if she doesn't quite understand their ways, she respected them and their culture all the same. <coughs> and so, Mjol continues to do what she does best. <coughs> to solve problems. For no matter how difficult the task, Mjol would still find a way to succeed. Because her oath to the citizens of Temriel is what mattered at the end of the day, and Mjol always kept her word. So Mjol kept exploring the wilderness around her as her passion for adventure and help those in need never ceased. And once again, Mjol continued to venture onwards. to the vast canyons of elsewhere.
furthering her knowledge even more as she stays true to her word. And to the swamps and jungles of Black Marsh, the old would continue to explore and help many along the way, always making sure she takes time for herself as she enjoyed what each providence has to offer. And so, Mjol continued her conquest to show Tamriel that there is still good in the world of Nern. And thus, she prepares for her next adventure. Tomorrow and... For the lands of the Dunmer people are considered a wasteland to the rest of Tamriel. But Mjol knew better as such as she knew that this land was the land that she used to hunt in with her father. The land that many Dark Elves still called home, regardless if others see it as a forgotten wasteland, we all knew there were those who still needed her help. And so, we all ventured where she could. As she now looks through the eyes as an adult, we all sees why her hunting expedition to Morrowind was always short when she was young. Seeing firsthand that these lands are very hostile. But Mule was ready for the challenge as she refused to back away from a fight. And there were many battles that Mule fought. Becoming stronger and stronger with each victory. But the more Mjol journeyed the lands of the Dark Elves, the more she came to realize that not all of the great cities of Morrowind were destroyed by the volcanic eruption of Red Mountain many, many years ago. Seeing firsthand that many Dunmer still function as a society regardless of the losses that they have sustained. For the Dunmer culture was still alive and well in the land of Morrowind. A building piece by piece, day by day. And as long as there was hope to rebuild, Mjol was there to help in any way she can. And so, Mjol fought on. Regardless of how many marauders she had to face, Mjol continued to be the beacon of hope for those in need. But as time went on, Mjol knew that there will come a day when she must decide to either stay her current course as an adventurer, or take all that she has learned throughout the years and apply her found knowledge that she has gained and return to Skyrim. For Mjol always knew that this moment would come, the moment of when she decides to return to her homeland. And so, the wiser and stronger Mjol heads back to the west for the first time in many years, for there is still much to do in Skyrim, and people to meet. <laughs>